to Let's Play Lego Batman, this is the Phantom Safety Pin. This time around, Gotham Bullion Fortress. Money, 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 money. Money. Gonna get a lot of money. Money. You know what? What would you even do with gold bullion? Just melt it down? Would you, you can't really sell the bricks. What's the point? Why didn't Riddler just rob the bank? Doesn't seem terribly smart. This seems terribly convoluted. All oh, right, Riddler. Anyway, over the ice bridge we go. <coughs> As you can see, we have approached some rather tall cliffs, and that's where the seed pods come in. Wait. Be patient. And up we go. No! Riddler's seen enough hentai to know where this is going! Oh, we're okay. Oh, well then. Wait. Why do we even need Clayface if we just stole the key anyway? I thought he was supposed to make the key with his hands. Okay. Anyway. Well, we're into the Bullion Fortress now. Well, almost into the Bullion Fortress. First, we have to break the rest of the way in. Past this, uh, nice security. <coughs> oh, I have to get rid of these, uh, police women. These security guards. Fill this up. Uh, sadly, no, the explosion does not knock our police guard friend over. Um, okay, <laughs> what was happening there? Riddler, what are you standing on? Oh, yay, up we go. Get rid of this police woman. We don't have time to contemplate glitches right now. We need to collect money. And, <laughs> I'm sorry, this is another reason I love Riddler in this game. I love the way he falls and the way he, uh, t <laughs> hop, hop, hop. And the way he, uh, uses those, uh, fly, those big fans. Um, because it looks like he's skydiving. It's just so funny. I don't know why it amuses me. Whoops, come on. Get up there, Phantom. Up we go. There we go. I actually had a pretty fantastic glitch occur during this level while I was recording, while I was, uh, playing through this the first time. And you will see that in the glitch bonus video. Oh, hey, Riddler Clue. That was, it was pretty fantastic, seriously. It involved that fan. But up we go. I don't know why I just sighed there. Maybe I was just tired. I've been so busy lately, guys. Between this and organic chem and getting ready for my organic chem class next semester in the summer. Yes, I have to take a chem class in the summer. Complete with lab, about a 10 week course. Oh, it's just ridiculous. The class, by the way, is called Instrumental Analysis. Yep. Wish me luck. But anyway. <coughs> I'm gonna jump over this. Uh, you don't want to go through that doorway. You want to take the more convoluted path. The reason you want to take the more convoluted path is because if you go through that doorway, well, you'll call guards down. And, well, guards are not something you want to call down right now. I'm not in the mood to fight. I'm in the mood to grab my money and run. We'll be taking a slightly different path than Batman and Robin take. It will involve that big vault in the background that you will see in about a second. There we go, that big vault in the background. And open that big vault, we need to push a box. Pu push this box into that hole over there. Which will unlock the door for us. So we can get our money, 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 money! Money! Just kind of... <coughs> push the uh, box in there. There we go. You know, I bet if Clayface were around, that would take like five seconds to just pick it up and push it. Did some dude just randomly yell? What the hell? What? 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 Huh? Explain, game. Explain, game. Explain. Anyway. Uh, you can see that security camera, the gimmick in this room, basically, is we need to blow up that security camera first, and we can't open that. Strength user needed. And, uh, we need to build some buttons to stand on to turn off those lasers. If we were to build these buttons first, it would turn off the lasers, but we wouldn't be able to make it further because the camera would catch us and turn the lasers back on. So we need that camera not to see us, thus we blow it up. Explosions solve everything. Wait, what? Anyway, up we go. There's nothing really in these boxes, just studs. Uh, that room back there, that door, looks like it's part of the scenery, doesn't it? Um, well, 
We'll come back to that door later. Just because this level is so short. This next part needs to be done with Two-Face. Um, if Riddler gets over there, you'll notice there's an explodey box and you have to go back as Riddler and switch Two-Face, come over here and blow this up. Which is why it's just best to do it as Two-Face first. And pull the lever to turn off the lasers. And there's something quite clever you can do with those lasers that I'm going to show you in about five seconds after we open this doorway, this elevator door. Hi, Seam! Fancy seeing you there. Uh-oh, we've called some cops over. Oh, might as well do it clever. See? I do it clever. And not just for the sake of, uh, convenience, we'll turn these, la these lasers off. But Phantom, why are we turning the lasers off? We're not sure- we're surely not going back, are we? Oh, yes we are. Yes we are, fair viewer, for there is something special in this room. Besides these blue and gold studs, I mean. There is a slot machine! Yay! The developers were really, really into uh, these little games. Um, they have, I mean, they have like a hit the things. They have games in the carnival levels. They have games here. All of these vaults contain something. And to open them, you need to pull this slot and uh, press the button over the, when the corresponding light over the vault is green. Oops. So it's really kind of an exercise in timing, but if you're patient, you can get quite a bit of money out of it. You can actually fill your stud bar this way, your Trudel and stud bar. And there's a nice little prize in the middlemost uh, vault. Oops, wrong spot again. Let's hope I can get the uh, right vault this time. And there we go. More studs. But yeah, it, I, think this is, I think it's really neat that uh, the developers put on put in all these little games. I mean, there's even, there's another nice one in the Joker's Carnival level, which is also a very short one in villain mode, uh, that you will see in that video much later. It's kind of neat. It's pretty. It's pretty neat. I, I I really like all these little games. I think it's I think it's a nice touch. And it's a fun way to hide the stuff too. There we go. There we go. And just one more vault to grab. And in that vault, I bet there's just something spectacular. Why else would they hide it so, so, well, why else would they hide it and protect it so much? Oh, wouldn't you know it? It's a red brick. In fact, this red brick, I believe, corresponds to one of the video games. Let's, let's drive these guards now. Let's pull this lever. <laughs> I am evil. Evil. Run through here. Uh, come on, don't get stuck on that. <coughs> and in we go. And this way, well, this is the last room of the level, actually. We're gonna, uh, blow up this thing. So we have a blue brick to pull over, and you can see, blue, as you know, blue bricks mean, a uh, build-it machine. But first we gotta fight some SWAT guys. Because, well, SWAT guys, what can you do? Let's go, Two-Face. Heads or tails, bitch! There you go. Give me your heart! It's very possible to accidentally walk the door if you step on that uh, semicircular area, so don't step on that. Um, otherwise, you'll end up having to come back in and fight these guys. I'm gonna switch off the ruler here just for a change of pace. Also, I need hearts. Give me your heart. That's how you can tell I'm hardcore. I eat people's hearts. I also have the heart of a little boy and a jar on my desk. Anyway, let's go. Okay, now I don't really have a heart, but I do have a cat brain. I swear to God I have a real cat brain in a jar in my room. Remind me, I will upload a picture sometime if you want to see it, but I seriously, I seriously do. It's real. It is real. It was from my anatomy class in my junior year in high school. It is preserved in isopropyl rubbing alcohol, and it is in a baby food jar on a shelf in my room. And it is kept for several years. I swear I am not making this up. And over it goes. And we're gonna blow it up. In free play mode, all you need to do is jump up there and switch to someone who can blow it up, but... And also, the game will automatically choose team members for the levels in free play mode that you need to solve the game, so you don't get stuck. It's impossible to get stuck in free play mode if you have everybody. Or if you have at least one of every type of... Uh, 
ability user. Just don't, don't jump, Riddler. Don't jump. <laughs> I love that it's shaped like a giant key. Just randomly shaped like a giant key. What the hell? Come on, get up there. Build this ladder so our good friend Dubase can get up here. And there we go. Bam. And this is the final blue brick. Come on, don't get stuck on the ladder. Jump over this key. Put the brick down in the build machine. And let's see what kind of thing we will build. Come on. There we go. Yay! It's a lever! Like we haven't seen those before. But this level is special. This lever is special because this lever opens up an elevator. Sorry, Two-Face, you don't get to come in with me into the gold room. That opens up... Gold! It's like Indiana Jones, almost. Actually, there's a Lego Indiana Jones, but... Wait a minute! Dude! Those things are as big- those are bigger than you are! How are you carrying them?! I'm pretty sure Bullion is not that huge! Oh no, this red brick actually unlocks regen hearts, which is very important. Uh, we will be unlocking that much later. And we will be using it in free play extensively. Anyway, that just about does it for the Bullion Fortress. And that does it for the Riddler chapter of Villain Claim through mode. As you can see, I've unlocked Mad Hatter. But, That'll do it. I will see you next time for the Penguin Chapter.